Did you know that Australia is currently investing heavily in new infrastructure, skyscrapers, and gigantic renewable energy projects? While many of these ambitious mega-projects are progressing smoothly, others have encountered delays, billion-dollar cost overruns, and construction challenges. So what's causing these setbacks, and will Australia's massive mega-projects ultimately succeed? In today's video, we delve into the current status of the largest construction projects in Australia to find out. 6. City BNK Ete BNK is going to be the tallest skyscraper in the Southern Hemisphere, and it's called Australia's most iconic project. It's named after a suburb in Melbourne, and it's right next to the Central Business District and the Arts Precinct. When it's finished, CG BNK will have two towers, one will be 366 meters tall and the other 288 meters tall. The coolest thing about it is the green spine. The two towers twist together and have open green terraces for apartments on the lower floors. There's a public area at the bottom of both towers and the spine goes all the way up to the roof, where there will be rooftop parks over 280 meters in the air. It's definitely not for people who are scared of heights. CBNK wants to be Australia's first five-minute vertical city, which means it will have pretty much everything people need right there in the building. The government in Victoria made it a priority to approve the towers quickly to help the construction industry. It's going to cost $1.3 billion and create almost 5,000 jobs. In five years, these new skyscrapers should be ready. We can't wait to see how the green terraces and parks will look. 5. Square Kilometer Array the Square Kilometre Array is another huge project, but it's a bit different. It's a big radio telescope that Australia and South Africa are working on together. When it's done, it will be the most powerful radio telescope in the world. In Australia, they're putting up over 130,000 antennas to catch radio waves. These antennas are grouped in clusters of about 250, spread out across more than 500 spots in Western Australia. They're in a place where there's not a lot of noise from human stuff, so they can pick up really faint signals from space. But building in such a remote area is hard. They have to make roads and get electricity out there just for this project. That's why it's going to take another five or six years to finish the Australian part of the telescope. The big idea behind this project is to learn more about space stuff like dark matter, dark energy, and how galaxies are born. They've been working on it for more than 30 years, and it's going to cost over $2 billion when it's all done. 4. Central Place Sydney Tech Hub Sydney is getting a new tech hub, and it's getting a lot of money invested in it. It's right next to the busiest transport spot in Sydney, and they're hoping it'll be as successful as places like Silicon Valley. The main part of this hub, called Central Place, already has $2 billion to make it happen. Central Place will have two big office buildings. Originally, they were going to be shaped like rectangles, but they changed the design to be three curved blocks so it fits in better with the old buildings nearby. Inside, they want to get people excited to work there in the 130,000 square meters of offices and workspaces. They're aiming to attract tech companies, especially in areas like cybersecurity, AI, and quantum computing. They're planning to have little paths between the buildings with restaurants and cafes, plus a special area for eating called the Dining Hub, where people from different jobs can meet up and share ideas. They're hoping this new hub will encourage people to come back to work, but it might take more than just cafes to get everyone back. Across from Central Place, there's going to be the new headquarters of a big Australian tech company called Atlassian, and it's going to be the tallest building made mostly out of wood in the world. So far, this tech hub has gotten $6.7 billion of investment. Because there are not a lot of arguments about it, it's moving along pretty quickly, unlike some other projects in the country. 3. Women's and Children's Hospital In Adelaide, the Women's and Children's Hospital has been in the same spot since 1876. But now, because things are changing, they need to build a new modern hospital. The new complex will include a hospital building, a big eight-story parking lot, and a renewable energy plant to power the hospital. They picked a spot right next to Biomed City, where there are lots of universities and research centers, and it's close to the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Since they announced the plan in 2013, there's been a big argument about where to put it. Finally, in 2022, the government knocked down a police barracks to make room for the new hospital. 
Some people didn't like this because they wanted to keep the old police building and the park around it. These arguments are part of the reason why big government projects like this usually don't finish on time or within the budget. All these changes and delays are making the cost go up a lot. At first, they thought it would cost $1.2 billion, but now they're saying it'll be $2.1 billion and it won't be done until 2030. 2. Western Sydney International Airport Disagreements among government officials have been causing delays in building a much-needed airport in Sydney for many years. Since 1920, people have been using Kingsford Smith Airport to travel to and from the city, but it's not big enough to grow. They thought about expanding the airport by building more runways and terminals out in the ocean, but that idea was rejected because it could make air traffic and noise pollution worse. Plus, there's a rule that planes can't fly over the area around the airport at night to keep the noise down. That might be one reason why flights to Australia cost so much. Experts say they need to build a new airport before 2030 or the country could lose $60 billion over the next 40 years. That's why they're working on a new one called Western Sydney International Airport in a place called Badgeries Creek, about 44 kilometers away from Sydney's city center. They bought the land for this in the late 1980s and early 1990s, but the government decided to add another runway to Kingsford Smith Airport instead of building a new one. That caused a lot of delays. Finally, in 2014, they decided to go ahead with the Badgeries Creek plan because it's the best option for growing in the future. In 2018, they started building it, and they set aside $3.5 billion to finish the whole thing. The first step is making a 3,700-meter runway, a terminal, and places for up to 10 million passengers each year. They're also going to connect it to a new train line as part of a big plan for a new public transit system in Sydney. 1. Star of the South The state government has given the green light to a huge new renewable energy project that would be the first of its kind in Australia. It's called the Star of the South Project, and it's going to be out in the water near Melbourne. They're going to put up hundreds of wind turbines, covering an area about three-quarters the size of Singapore. Then they'll use substations on the shore to send the electricity into the national grid and power up to 20% of Melbourne's homes. This project is expected to bring in a lot of money, somewhere between $5.03 and $6.6 .6 billion, and create thousands of jobs. But it's been taking a long time to get started because the government has been slow to act. At first, the people in charge of the project said there weren't enough rules in place for this kind of renewable energy project at sea. Most of the laws were made for searching for oil or gas, not for putting up wind turbines in the ocean. It wasn't until 2021 that they finally passed a law specifically for this kind of thing. The next year, things started to speed up when they marked off a section of the ocean near Melbourne as a special area for development, and they gave the Star of the South project a big thumbs up. But even with all this progress, it doesn't seem likely that they'll finish by their goal of 2028 because they haven't even picked someone to build it yet. While the Star of the South's website says these projects usually take three to five years, some experts think they might not be ready until way past 2030. What is your opinion on that? Should these massive mega projects be completed despite enormous cost increases? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about the biggest mega projects under construction, you should check out this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.